The rate of incarceration of black males is seven times that of white males for the same crimes. More and more people are being locked up for longer and longer. Locking up the mentally ill for long terms is not making us safer. Locking up those suffering from addiction is not making us safer. Why? How did this happen? When Charlie Wiggins plays politics, predators walk free. It's my privilege to sentence you to life in prison without parole. First, it was the politicians who used fear. Went on a killing spree. Some cities let criminals out. And as a gang prosecutor, I've put dozens of violent criminals behind. Keeping our communities safe. One was Willie Horton, who murdered a boy in a robbery, stabbing him 19 times. There's a story about a fellow named Willie Horton. Willie Horton. Convicted murderer. Murderer. Convicted murderer. Killer. Murderer. They rape people. Raped his wife. They maul people. Crime is something we're all concerned about. Senator D'Amato is a leader. We'll declare war. For tougher sentences. In jail. Just to keep families safe. Than the media. He is described as a black man. Black man. Black. black. As a black. As a black. Black, black man. Young black male. He's an African American male. You are really. Sir. Now what I'm telling you, okay. set it up. Okay. Oh, yeah, so right. Set it up. Get your car over here and put it in. I've got it. I'm in here. Blacks and Latinos are typically portrayed as perpetrators, while whites are typically depicted as victims. in 1968 had two enemies, the anti-war left and black people. Fear-mongering from politicians and that retribution must be swift and sure combined with racial stereotyping from the media they're rapists has led to disastrous results. But first we have to bring them to heal. Three strikes and you are out. They had policies that cost billions and don't make us safer. Multiple studies have shown that locking up more and more people for longer and longer does not make us any safer. The problem is severe, but we have real solutions that save lives and can make us safer without criminalizing poor people of color. Brave New Films presents an in-depth examination of the causes of mass incarceration, along with existing solutions and life-saving alternatives. Stay tuned and sign up at bravenewfilms.org for the next part in our sentencing reform series.